now we are on step five that is analyzing our logical systems logical air systems okay i will make it as logical air systems so uh we have two points regarding this one is we can verify them we can check them in the airflow check schedule okay or you can also analyze them in the system browser you cannot make any change in that but uh, you can easily analyze all your diffusers and flow rates in the system browser so what why there is a need of airflow check schedule why there is a need so once you uh, see that once like in the last class we have created a system right so when you press tab on any of your system element here you see uh, we have a duct system for the system name is zone a here we have okay so sometimes you will see flow is not computed uh, in that case what you can do you can go uh, to your supply system here you can set the calculations to all okay now when you again select it uh, you will see uh -huh, there is a flow okay so uh, why there is a need to create an airflow check schedule when you create when you when you when you uh, check the system here the flow for zone a it is showing uh, 1855 right uh, and when you check our zone schedule in zone schedule what is the flow rate 1734 it is not matching so why it is not matching for that you need to create an airflow check schedule okay so for that what you can do go to the schedules tab click on new schedules type s we have to select spaces click okay here i can add the level okay name and number okay sorry name type n uh, name and number space name and space number then we need to select airflow calculated airflow calculated supply airflow and calculate then we need to select uh, return airflow specified return airflow and we need to select actual return airflow and return airflow parameter to specify how we are taking the return here this i will tell you in the schedule this has to be on the top then specified then actual it's okay now for supply supply actual actual supply airflow and now one parameter we need to create for the airflow delta okay to check the difference between the calculated and the actual okay calculated that is calculated by revit actual as per your modeling how you have placed the diffuser and if it is not matching with that uh, with the calculated okay so i want to create a airflow delta parameter airflow delta discipline is hvac it's an airflow and the formula is calculated supply airflow minus actual supply airflow so it will give me the difference right and i'll put this just above and here we have an schedule here you can write uh, airflow check is schedule airflow check schedule okay uh then what we can do we can uh, i'll just place it here on this yeah, that's fine okay so um what we can adjust them first and we can make it on the center align align center now the thing is we are currently working on zone one right 
we are currently working on zone one. I want to check only for zone one right now, just to avoid confusion. Okay, so how you can do that? Uh, you can add a parameter called zone. Okay, zone, go to the filter tab. You can select zone equals to zone A. So it will only show me zone A spaces. Okay, zone A spaces. Now, uh, what I can do, I can uh, check the airflow delta. I can check the airflow delta. This is calcul in the classroom 105, 228 is calculated. 228 is supplied. That is okay. That is fine. 238 is calculated to uh, 230. It's okay. That's a point difference. That's not a matter. But uh, in few spaces, I can see that's a big difference. So like there are few spaces, you can see it manually. Like, uh, okay, you can see. But if let's say if there are uh, 10, 20, 30 spaces, it will be very difficult for you to check. To check that where we have lagging where the airflow delta is having a uh, you know a greater difference for that we have an option called formatting in formatting you can go to the airflow delta parameter here we have an option called conditional format we have to apply a condition go to this conditional format here you can see we have airflow delta and the test I want to place it that this airflow delta has to be between either minus two or plus two. Okay, it has to be between this value. If it is not, then apply the color red on it. So it will be easy for me to check. Okay. Okay, so, uh, okay, there's one thing, there's one thing uh, you have to do is not between. So we have just done the opposite. It has to be not between. Click OK, click OK. Yeah, that's right. So not between the, those values. But here you see there is a big difference, minus 7. Actual we need to supply 73, but it is supplied as 80. Actual supply is 80. So it is higher value, okay. Uh, here it want as uh, 107, but supplied as 120. Actual it needs 698, but it has supplied 798, okay. So in these three spaces, I have to change the values, okay. In these three spaces, I have to change the values so that this uh, red sign will not appear, okay. So this is how you will check automatically so right now it is just seen but when you have multiple spaces like 20 30 40 it will be very very helpful to identify that which space is having a, a higher or lesser flow rates okay now let's go to this office in office uh, you see we have the calculated as 73 and actual is 80 so i'll make it as 73 how much it is 73 73.09 i'll say 73 73 similarly for this one as well 73 now that red sign will be removed i hope yeah it's removed now for the break room go to the space uh Okay, so here we have an option called highlight in model. Click on this highlight in model and you'll, it will direct you to the space. So calculated is 107, but actual is 120. So I will make it as how much it is 107. 107, same I'll make this 107. Now that red symbol will be removed right now it is removed now one is for the corridor okay so corridor there is a big difference that is 99.7 let's go to the corridor now in the corridor total load is how much 698.25 right how many supply diffusers we have one 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन सेवन ओके वी हैव टोटल सिक्स नाइन्टी एट डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन फॉर वन डिफ्यूजर इट हैज टू बी नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन सो जस्ट वी हैव सिलेक्टेड ऑल द डिफ्यूजर्स फॉर वन डिफ्यूजर इट हैज टू बी नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन okay that's it go to that we don't have any red symbol indicating that value okay this is how you will verify your design using the airflow check schedule now again you can check the system how much it is 1735 and how much in the zone schedule 1734.3 it's a just point difference Okay, thirty-four point. If you round it off, it will be seventeen thirty-five. So that means, that means, uh, we are having same airflow rate as the calculated. Now about the return. So return here, you see when you drop down this, it <laughs> Revit will give you three options. If you want to take a specified supply airflow. Whatever the supply specified is, you have to take that value. Whatever the calculated supply, we are not. You want to take that value, or whatever the actual supply, you want to take that value. In actual practice, we will take actual supply. Okay, whatever I am supplying, I want to take that return only. So once you specify here, it will automatically take. It will automatically take that value, actual supply airflow. Okay. So if you want to do the same thing for all, select all, select all, go to the flow plan, all will be selected. Here you can go to the return airflow, actual supply airflow. Now it will be done for all. So whatever the value you will have in the supply, actual supply, all that will be applied to actual specified return. Okay. and same airflow delta check this is for supply this is for supply same airflow delta check you can apply for the return as well okay